Hey guys, Joe Hildreth here from MyHeap.com. So it's been quite a long time uh, since I put out a video. Um, one thing led to another, led to another, led to another, and, and here I am. So let me explain. So in my last video, I was working on the Titch hand water pump, right? Because I need a boiler test rig for the uh, boiler I made for the Kenneth Wells steam engine. And um, I decided that I would just actually follow the, the, the plan directions and uh, order some model engineering taps. And I ordered those from England and I was waiting on those, right? And then, you know, the whole virus thing started. So, you know, my wife, uh, I tell her, I'm like, well, look, I got to wait and and uh, you can't really do much. How about if I put some lights out here on the back patio uh, or back deck on either side of the sliding door? So I got these um, two lantern light fixtures that you see here and I bought two more, one to go in the front of the house and one to go back behind uh, the basement doors. But anyway, um, my dining room uh, was paneled. My dining room and kitchen was paneled and uh, so my wife said, uh, hey, you think we could drywall at least the dining room? And I'm like, yeah, I guess, but you know, we'll have to tear up the carpet. But it was worn out anyway. So let me bring you inside and show you what's going on and where I'm at and where I'm going. And uh, But let me just give you fair warning. If you've ever saw the money or the uh, movie, The Money Pit, you'll know exactly what happened. So I'll catch you inside. Okay, I've taken you handheld and, and if I make you seasick or something like that, I'm really sorry. And uh, these aren't very large rooms. They're only about 12 foot wide. And uh, I forget the uh, overall length, about 25 feet maybe uh, for the two rooms. But anyway, if we look over here, you'll see that the kitchen was paneled, right? You can see it down there. The kitchen and the dining room were paneled. And my wife says, so do you think since we're putting lights out here, can we drywall the dining room, at least the dining room. So I said yes, yeah, you know, we could do that, but I'll have to pull out the the carpet because it's shot and and uh, and uh, you know, but we're gonna have to replace flooring anyway. So she's like, okay. So I done, you know, I said, well, I'll just end it in some J channel, which you see there, and over here, I ended the wall in J channel, and then she kept talking about how she would like to have archways right so I built a I widened this doorway here to four foot built in an archway that's the door that will go down into the basement and then in the hall I built another archway and then I drywalled all this out and I tore the carpet out I cut it off at the hallway I'll pull it out later when I do the the vinyl planking floor and cut it off at the living room doorway and we'll pull this all out whenever I do the vinyl planking. I'll do the kitchen, the dining room, the hallway, and the living room all one fell swoop with the planking. So what I ended up with, and I'll put some pictures in here because I did take a couple of pictures, was my kitchen floor originally had um, ceramic tile. And there was a step up here of about an inch and a half, right? And my mother-in-law lives with me and she's 81 years old and she doesn't move around real great. And I was worried that she was gonna trip on that stuff and fall and if she would have fell, her, her frame fell on that uh, uh, ceramic tile, um, she would have broke, right? So I thought, well, the tile looks like it only runs up to the toe kick of the cabinet. Somebody laid it as an afterthought, so I thought I could tear it up. So um, as I'm tearing it up, the tile did in fact go up to the toe kicks, but the underlayment, which is looks like three quarter inch uh, particle board, it actually ran underneath the cabinet. So I thought, well, crap, I'll have to pull the cabinets out in order to uh, tear out the rest of the underlayment. Except that the cabinets in this kitchen are, they're built-ins, right? They're not like modular cabinets you'd buy at Lowe's or anywhere like that. They're actually all built-in and when they come out, they're probably gonna come out in pieces. So I told my wife, I said, well, you know, uh, in for a, a penny, in for a pound, you know. So uh, today, uh, we bought cabinets. Uh, fortunately, we got a 30% off um, coupon, but it was still, you know, $10,000, and that's not even counting the countertop. So I just wanted to give you an update where I'm at. Um, I'm probably gonna pull this uh, drywall here back off um, so I don't have to deal with the J channel. 
this over here I will cut back and uh, and then I will pull all these cabinets out, the appliances out, I'll tear out this little closet that was used for a, a cupboard and drywall the entire kitchen. I will center the stove uh, on this rear wall. You see it needs to move to the right uh, a little ways and then the sink and the dishwasher will stay where it was. The refrigerator used to be here. I will put a big pantry cabinet right there and then across over here on this side I'll, uh, I'll run water uh, for the refrigerator and, and line and then of course I'll have to run some I have to run some electricity. Uh, so I've already purchased all my inset lighting. I don't know if you can see there's one above the sink. I'm going to put five here on the uh, kitchen ceiling and that sort of stuff. So I got quite a bit to do here. Uh, I'll uh, give you an update video um, here and there just so you see what's going on for those that are, might be interested. I got to get this job done. Uh, like I said, I ordered the cabinets today um, and I have, they tell me three to three to eight weeks for shipping time. They say it's typically four, so I got about four weeks to get all of them done. I need to get done. I got lots and lots of squeak in the subfloor. The subfloor is five eighths. It's a little thin for my liking, so I'm probably going to bring in some uh, and uh, lay down some seven sixteenths uh, OS, OSB on top of this here, stagger the seams and screw it all down, but not before I um, not before I screw down all the squeaks. One thing I will note, uh, note, you see these areas here on the floor that looks like they've been ground. That's because they have been ground. Whoever put the uh, particle board in, they glued it all the way on the perimeter and nailed it all down and then about every six inches the uh, concrete board or you know the backer board for the tile was screwed into that and so all this stuff is coming up or is coming up in very small pieces except for here you'll see that there's some staining on the floor so I guess at one time there was a, a good a pretty good leak or something now the floor is sound but it is stained um, but now the um, particle board um, in that area is you know coming up pretty good my appliances are fairly new um, you know they're mid-range appliances they're frigid air um, I have you know the gallery series so I have all, all four of these so uh, I'm going to reuse these. I'm not buying appliances, so hopefully, you know, I can get uh, get everything I got going here for. Well, hopefully, as cheap as possible. So, anyway, um, that's that. I'll uh, I'll end now and show you a few pictures of of what I've had done or what I've done so far, and uh, we'll call this an update. And then uh, it won't be too much longer. I'll give you a shop update because uh, I want to talk about Travers Tools. I think it's Travers Tools. Travis tools, I can't remember, uh, off the top of my head, and, and some stuff that I got from Chirpy and some, some other things. So I, want, I do want to give a shop update, and that's going to come real soon. So thanks, guys, for hanging out with me and being so patient. Uh, man, I tell you what, this is horrible. This is just horrible. So anyway, um, hey, look, if, uh, if you find any of this stuff entertaining, please consider liking, subscribing, or sharing. Click the bell if you want to be notified. And other than that, have a blessed day.